Hello everybody, welcome back to U-Boat and welcome back to uh, pretty much a successful campaign so far. Um, we've just sunk a, si a ship just off the British coast and what we're going to do today is we're going to start heading down because we're going to go and try and finish this tonnage war. We're going to get to 50,000 tonnage today, I hope. So if we can sink a few ships, I'll be quite happy with that. So I'm not going to show you much of what we're doing traveling wise. I'm just going to show you when we get to the ships and when we go to do the sinking and then we'll uh, come back. So I'll see you in a little while. Okay, so we've got a really interesting one coming up here now. Um, this is going to be a tough shot um, because I know for a fact that we're good. We're trying to find the Empire Cor Cor Cormorant um, and there's warships all around here. So we're going to have to be very careful what we do here. Um, there's like two warships at the back here, one warship at the front. There'll be a warship in this one. So we're, we're in a big pickle here. Uh, it's, it's loading the land right now. Um, and we're getting into shallow waters as well. So we're at 50 to 100. You see, we've been given the uh, the signal to go uh, sink the Empire Cormorant. So we're just going to move in a little bit now, just a little bit closer with 10 to 20, 5 to 10. Um, I think we're happy here. Let's go blue, uh, silent running. And let's see what we find. So just trying to get in a little bit closer so we can get a good visual on the ships. Um, that's the warship for sure. Um, so let's go a little bit slower, a little bit slower. Um, red lighting. Um, we should probably go for red lighting. Okay, we're coming in now to them. So there's the warship. Okay, let's go very slow now. Slow ahead. Aim ourselves this way. There's the ship. That's the war Sidar. So that's that's a tanker. Um, we could go for the tanker, um, although I don't think we'll hit it very easily. Um, but let's go on the periscope for now. So the war Sidar is literally right at the end of our range of view, um, just to the right of us, just here. There it is. Now we can go for it. Um, Let's see, it's a tanker, it's a war class because it's war. Uh, let's zoom in slightly if we can and let's get that bow uh, if we can get it because it's moving pretty quickly out of our range here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And we're about to go under it now. About there. Eight knots. So again, like I said, it's, it's going pretty quick. Um, we need to angle ourselves in a certain way as well. So let's go like this. That is the Empire Duchess. So it's not the right one either. So we could set up for this tanker. So we need to know what its distance is. So we can work that out. Um, so really simple, the distance to the tanker is 1.8. So we can go, uh, we'll go 1.8. Uh, so 1,800 kilometers. And then the angle is going to be 86 right now. So 87. So we effectively can take the shot now. Uh, but I feel like we shouldn't take the shot on that because if we do, we're going to get alerted and we haven't seen the cormorant yet. Um, like I say, we've got, uh, again, the second target here, we've got the um, Duchess. But I think we literally only have two torpedoes left, if I remember rightly. So, oops. Uh, Oh no, we've got another one we can load, so that's good. Okay, so let's load that quickly. Uh, you, quick, 
I want you to load that torpedo now, please. Thank you. So we can take that shot, um, or we can kind of keep waiting for the cormorant to come in. It's going to come in in a second. I think this is the cormorant. These are the um, other like corvettes. I think that's the cormorant. So I think we can take that. We take the Duchess as well. We could take all three if we wanted to. Uh, so we can start working out the distance between the Duchess and us as well. So that's uh, 1.8 at the moment. Uh, it's angle on bow is going to be whatever the angle on bow is going to be, which is going to be 78. Um, and its velocity is going at the same speed, so we're going to go with uh, it's eight knots. So again, we could take that shot. That's two torpedoes loaded. Um, we just need to obviously get them get them managed. Um, do we we do we take those shots? I, I don't think so. Not yet. Uh, Let's get the officers on those. Let's get it done as fast as possible, please. I think we take the Sadar shot. Let's see if we can do that. The Duchess, we've got the shot on them as well. Um, We could take that shot once it's flooded. I'll be so surprised if we hit these. But it's interesting to give it a go. Torpedoes are on the way. If either of those hit, we've got to go. Like we just have to forget the corn run and just go. Um, I think we do change direction though. What's the depth here? 50 to 100. So we can go down to 50 now. They're looking pretty good though. Looking like they're getting quite close on target here. That's going to hit, you know. Oh, we got it right on the front. And the other one, it got hit straight after. Yes. Right, time to go. <laughs> time to go. Time to go. Right, I think we've just got to get out of here. That's two massive hits we've just hit there. Uh, I honestly don't know if we've sunk them or not, but we we will see. Um, 50 to 100 meters, can we go a little bit deeper? Look, oh yes. That looks like it's going down. Yep. Definitely going down. Excellent work there, excellent work. It's a shame we couldn't get hold of the uh, um, couldn't get hold of the cormorant. We're just going to have to go, unfortunately. But let's see. Can we get any deeper than this? Fifty to one hundred. Are we near this, the floor? I think. I think we just we just keep moving this way. We'll stay inside and running for a little while. Um, so let's go. They're definitely looking for us. Oh, we're being pinged. Ah, okay. Death charges are all around us right now. Uh, very slowly. I think we should stay about 67. 
there are debt charges all around us and we're just going to keep on just moving away very slowly hopefully everything's all good we'll just keep keep here keep silent keep keep ourselves hidden away from the millions of destroyers coming our way now we are literally running away okay welcome back guys we uh we seem to have lost them um i say we seem to have lost them because i'm not sure um we've got plenty of ships all around us kind of like work trying to work out where we are but we're up to 140 speed um now so it's good we're definitely sinking these they were sinking wrecks now so they're definitely stationary um, these destroyers and the corvettes are kind of been chasing us for a while, but they use all their depth charges. They couldn't get to me. I went really deep, really slow on blue lights and we got out of there. Um, so I'm hoping we just maintain that now. So I'm going to keep going for a little while. Um, it looks like everything's moving away right now. So I, th I think we're good. Although the alarms come back on, which is worrying. Uh, so we'll just keep on rolling. Um, I'm going to keep, I'm going to head over towards like over here and then we'll see how we get on. I'll be back when hopefully we find, uh, find some nice safety. All right. We're at the, we're at the surface again. I think we're good. We're, we're a little bit further away now. Um, interesting. <laughs> at least we managed to sink the both of those ships and I was really impressed with myself for getting both of those ships at the same time. So I'm really happy with that. Um, yeah, we definitely definitely got credit for the Empire Duchess being sunk, but I don't know about the other ship. We'll find out, I guess. Um, so what we'll do is let's just kind of take stock of where we are. Um, so, oops, I mean to go into here. We're still on blue lights at the moment, but we, we'll, we'll come off this in a minute. Uh, so how many torpedoes do we have left? We have two left, so we can now get two more, two more shots on two more ships. So I'm happy with that. So let's go normal lighting. Actually, red lighting goes night. Silent running off, stop direct orders, and uh, we'll just get him to come back in and do it again. Uh, so there we go. We've got two torpedoes left, so ready to go. So I'm going to head out uh, probably to where my marker is, and then we'll resume our check to see where uh, other ships are. Hi, guys. Welcome back. We're back in port, uh, 24th of September, so we've been gone for a few days now. Um, we, we managed to get a few sinkings, um, but we, uh, we didn't manage to get too much, but there you go. dresky has got his second, uh, his U-boat war badge. Uh, same with, uh, Lime Cooler. He's got his, uh, war badge. Same with Zetschka and also with, uh, R Riga. Um, Karlskraft, he's nearly got his German cross. Um, it's because we've sunk the Sunny Ford, um, we determined the course of the Empire Addison. We sunk the Addison and we sunk the Duchess. And we got another U-boat war badge. And we finished the first Tannish War, but however, we haven't managed to do the second Tannish War. Not far off though, as you can see. Um, we just didn't manage to get any more sinks. So it looks like we managed to get the Addison and the Duchess, but the tanker didn't sink. So I'm a bit gutted by that. We couldn't find the um, um, Cormorant. Um, but we've done a good job so far. So I think we should be proud of what we've done. So I think what we'll do then is we'll quickly just finish off the ship stuff and then we'll, we'll just get ourselves ready, ready for our next, uh, our next, um, yeah, our next, uh, ship sail, our next sail. That's the word I'm looking for. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. Um, let's free the survivors and they're gone. Let's give us some more reputation, which is nice. Um, we'll, don't worry about the crew for now. We can't, like I say, we can't take control of the, the, the D yet because we don't have that. But we'll do that next time. I am pretty sure of that. We can resupply a little bit anyway as well. But let's have a look at the crew and let's upgrade our crew members. So what we're going to do is we're going to give um, focus to uh, our graph. He's going to be able to track 25% faster. Uh, Zetsha will give uh, engine specialists to make the engines a little bit more um, reliable. Same with Lime Cooler because they do the same job. And then Riga, I think I'm actually going to give him the gunner trait. Um, it just means that it's going to be easier to shoot when we do the shooting because I've done a couple of things with him today shooting. And Dresky's already been leveled up once. 
and May has also leveled up, so we'll give him the sensitive hearing mod as well. There we go. Uh, we do have uh, Urban Flaum, um, who is one of our crew members. So we could actually go to headquarters and get him to be to be uh, set up in headquarters. But I think for now, I think we're doing good. Um, at the moment, obviously, we're doing Tanish War. Uh, we could do Mine Lane as well. We could do that soon. But I think for now, we're doing pretty good. Let's just have a quick check, actually, while we're here of the campaign and see what's coming up next. So Scapa Flow is October. So we are pretty much at Scapa Flow level now as well. So we're probably going to take a break. So we'll probably do Scapa Flow and also get a couple of blueprints here. So this could be quite interesting. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed these videos and uh, subscribe as well if you want to see more of these Ubo videos. And also comment below and let me know what you think about my uh, jaw sinking there, or almost jaw sinking, should we say. We definitely hit both of them, but there we go. So let me know for sure. All right, guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.